Hello everybody and welcome back to Bandle Tale, where today we are going to go off to Gadgeton. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with my inventory being a bit full. And I to expand it even more, oh if I can, can I? Oh no, I'm in a chest, that's why I can't do it. Uh, let me just see. I need a bit of cloth, three pieces of cloth. So I'm going to do that before I do anything else today. I'll make three pieces of cloth and I will expand my inventory. So, uh, stuff to make my, to make my assembly table. Unfortunately got a little bit like, oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, that's fine. It got a little bit stuck in the post box because of my inventory issues wasn't too great. So there's a few other things I maybe might pop in the chest. Maybe my firefly bulbs. That would be a good one, actually. My firefly lantern. Bending reward. What can I do with that, then? I have no idea what I can do with those. I'm guessing I can place them around or something. I'm not sure, but anyway. Probably things like beets and bananas and things like that can go in the chest as well. And that leaves me a little bit more room for everything I might need to do. To be honest, having a firefly trap in my infantry might be a good idea. But maybe not fireworks. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't know whether I can... I think I might be able to put a chest... Oh, right, yeah, in my greenhouse as well. Hmm, that's definitely a thing I should do. And then all of my beets and bananas and things like that can go in that chest. That definitely seems like a good idea. Let's um take them all back out again. Firefly bulbs as well, maybe. They're all cooking things. And keep my cooking things in the greenhouse chest. Maybe my fireflies as well. Or maybe the firefly trap. So maybe like my naturey stuff could go let like green background stuff. And then yellow is knitting and then green yeah, purple is magic and red is so you can, I could maybe sort it a little bit by colour. More beets, more beet seeds, more nanas. I don't know how much I'm going to need these, but... Okay. Now I've done a little bit of organisation. Uh, let's head out to see if we can find Jasper. Where might Jasper be then? Oh, look at all these clothes. I can't not pick them up, right? I love how the waterfalls like go upside down because we're upside down here. Right, so let's go back to, to... Now, where's Jasper then? Let's see. Is that Jasper? Must be. Uh, so Jasper is... towards the root market okay but not actually in the root market just kind of towards it so where are you Jasper Jasper have I gone too far no Oh, it's a Jasper is actually in the root market. This is Jasper. Hello. Do you sell bouncy balls? That's not my specialty. However, if you need ball bounce calculations, I need to fix the balloon plane you made. In that case, you should talk to Bjorn. Bjorn? Big gentle guy likes the sugar. Not that good with numbers. I know him, but why is he a bouncy ball expert? That, my friend, is a question you should definitely ask him. So this is for these like bouncy balloons that we need to get. 
But let's have a chat. Are you a bouncy ball expert? I sure am. I need them to fix a balloon plane. That's a nimble cause. I can sell you some. Thanks. Why do you have so many bouncy balls? I'm bored standing here all the time. I'm learning to juggle. My friends say I'm not so good, but I'm going to be a juggling master. My sister can juggle. It's really impressive, actually. That's good. That's cool, sorry. Good luck with that. Nimble cause? Yes, definitely. He means noble. Aha, of course, thanks. <laughs> Shop. So, five... five st uh, stars will give me 20 bouncy balls. Five per bouncy ball. How many do I need? One. Okay. I bought one bouncy ball. Skill required rubber knitting. To craft balloons in the charge workbench. Okay. Am I going to need to make a charge workbench for my house now? I've definitely got the points I need to get rubber knitting, so let's let's head on back. I had to move my house to get the right aura. Because I think I was supposed to be able to get the aura like from the weather thing, uh, weather vane thing, but I didn't quite work out how to do it, so we're just we're just using the mat and placing the house outside, and that'll do for now. All right. Anyway, um. Me. Right, so rubber knitting. Playcraft. So I think we'll need Claycraft soon. I mean, I would think that, that rubber knitting would be under knitting, but. It's actually a magic thing. Okay, so we need to get the charge workbench to make rubber loops. And we also need to get rubber knitting. Wonderful. Okay, let's head in here and make myself a charge workbench. For that, I'm going to need some catalyst sand, which we can go and grab, and a basic blueprint. <sighs> Right, so I'm going to need to go and get some... I can make ink, actually, can't I? I've got the workbench for ink. But I do need to go get some catalyst sand. There is also a, parent, a, a blueprint I need to get from the post box. So stuff, unfortunately, got sent to the post box. Because it was overly... I thought... When I saw you could stash stuff and put it in the post box and la la la. That'd be a really cool thing. But the post boxes are miles away half the time. I think it shows you on here. Where have I even gone to? Yeah, there's the post box. Oh man, I've gone completely the wrong way. But not the wrong way for gathering this stuff, so... Uh, let me change over to my dust scooper. I think I need something like six. And then there was... Is it in the root market? Or is this, is this the post? No. Where's the post box? I think it might be in the root market actually. Oh, come on. Ramp. Stupid ramp. So there's supposedly a post box around here somewhere. Oh, uh, gone past it again. Yeah, like what? Where is that? 
It could not have gone to a more annoying place if it tried. Over here. There we are. Looks like the elevator has broken down. Gee, I wonder where they'd get that idea. Sorry, where you'd get that idea from. You know, there's more to life than sarcasm, right? You said sarcastically. I guess there's no way to get up until the elevator's fixed. Staying down it is. I didn't really want to go on the elevator. I just wanted to get my food stuff back from the post box. Alright, oh, I am. Back to the telescope. And then we'll get this balloon fixed up, which is what I wanted to kind of get done at the end of the last episode. I just didn't have the time to do it. There was no way. There was just no way. I don't think we're going to like do an island an episode at this rate or anything like that. But I think we're making some good progress. Right. Three pieces of cloth, lovely. So that was specifically there to upgrade my inventory. So that's what it'll be used for. Next, we need clay. And I think we won't find that for a little while longer, probably. We found a lot of new stuff around here, so. Um, right, I need to make the charge workbench. Let's see. Of course it's massive. I think I need to move a few things around. I want to make myself remake my uh, assembly table. So for that. Did I ever make the potion bench? Yes, I did. Lovely. Let's put a bit of ink on and then we can make some blueprints. Perfect. And then I can use those blueprints to make an assembly bench. Oh, I need some iron. Okay. Right, so in the meantime, charge workbench, which is this one. Uh, I need to make some magical rubber loops. <sighs> Stupid aura thing again. I could have... I'm sure I'm supposed to be able to use the auras from outside. So like, to build, I need to unwrap the right carpet. It's a pain when I've got to use auras on things. At least I only need uh, motion auras, so I'll pull it back down again and I'll take it outside. At least it didn't go to the post box this time. So outside building. Um, let me build an assembly. No, oh, an assembly bench. Charge workbench. Okay, so now let's make some charged balloons. And then repair the balloon plane. I don't know how many balloons we need. I need. I think I need a bouncy ball per balloon. So I'm hoping it's not too much we need because it could get really bad if we need like 20 or something. Why did I? Why have got this feeling I need 20? But I'll never know until I check. So. It's very expensive if it needs 20. Ah. Uh. I thought 
thought I'd forgotten where I was going, but no, I am going the right way. We are going to the scrapyard because that's where the balloon is situated. Boop. While I'm down here, I may as well get some more scrap. Oh no, I needed one. Okay, repair. Now I can visit Gadgeton. Problem is, probably if I want to go to Gadgeton, I didn't realise that I would actually be able to um, <laughs> fix the balloon on the very first try. But if I want to go to Gadgeton, then we definitely do need to go and pick up the backpack. So let's go and do that. I probably should pick it up more than I do, but oh well. I mean, it takes about 30 seconds to go get it. <laughs> Still. Yeah, look at my trail. Right, remove backpack. There we are. So we're off to Gadgeton now. Oh, I see. So the the leg is what gives you your stamina. Nice. would be scared by something like this but our hero was brave soon gadgeton appeared in the distance is gadgeton not our gadgeton. hero held on tight and tried to believe everything would be all right Ooh, it looks and a bit scary the over there though. island seemed to believe too believe Okay, so we're off to Gadgeton. Gadgeton. Hello, did you fly that balloon plane? Yes, I did. Awesome, can I please take it for a ride? Unfortunately, it probably won't fly again. Uh, what is the situation on this island? It's broken. What is broken? Everything. Our island was always running like clockwork. It's like there was an EMP. What's an EMP? Extremely malicious party. <laughs> the portal disaster disturbs the currents that power our machinery. Yeah, it's horrible. I lost my best friend because of it. It's not my fault. It's not. <laughs> but we can fix everything. Who's the most exceptional yordle living here? Uh, I guess all of them. I mostly do engineering maintenance, sorry. These loud goes over there will probably be more helpful. Okay. Rumble's workshop. Ah. Can't wait to see what Rumble's going to invent next. I bet it won't top his sand sanitizer. Boy, that was genius. I'm looking for the most exceptional yordle on the island. So you're not here for the show? What is this show? There's no way you don't know that. How can you not know that? You haven't heard about the Rumble and Ingvar? They're rivals. They have this great invention competition. Exceptional or not, Rumble is definitely the awesomest. Remember that time he made the first scratcher basically from scratch? I actually like the sand sanitizer more. <laughs> no matter with the invention, Rumble always wins. And you guys, sad Rumble is winning? No? Of course not. It's just that... It's not exciting when you know the ending before the competition even starts. Hmm, I guess you're right. 
I definitely should talk to Rumble then. Thanks. We're gonna go find Rumble. After we clean up all the mess. Actually, it's all um, junk generators, so... Can't really clean it too much. Rumble, right? Hey, you're not one of my fans. I'm looking for the most exceptional yordle on this island. I'm putting together the most epic party ever. It'll generate enough magic to restart the portal network. And I need the most amazing and talented yordles for that. Well, you won't find a yordle more amazing than me. I'm the greatest engineer, the undefeated champion of the invention contest. The, I guess, only two of these. But that's a lot, right? Anyway, that party of yours, not interested. Why? Because I don't really know you, that's why. Who am I going to talk to at this so-called party? Like, who else is coming? Um, actually, you're the first... Oh, Tristana's also coming. You probably know her. Well, well, so Tristana will be there. I guess I could pop in, but only if she vouches for you. Oh, boy. Sure, I'll talk to her. Great. Can you fix the garbage chute while you're at it? What chute? That's the shortest route to Bandal Centre. Also, a great way to test your engineering skills. Wow, that's a huge mech. What are you driving at? I'm trying to say it's too big for me. Like I'm short. Listen, buddy, the only thing I'm short of is patience for stunts like... Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I've just never seen a mech that big, that's all. Ha, I'll let it slide this time. She's a beaut. A true feat of engineering. A note to self. He doesn't like small talk. Cool. Something wrong, Rumble? What? No, everything's great. I've got friends. They're over there. My fans. I mean friends. They love me. It's great. What's Rumble got in his shop? Alright. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oil, iron needles, copper sheets, junk, and Blitzcrank's fist. Interesting. Maybe I could fish that up, though. What have we got there? Repair elevator controls with a charged zip can. Okay, we've clearly got a lot to do around here then, haven't we? Alright, I can I can use this one though, apparently. Lovely. Uh having a good look around. What's in here? Need a snap jaw. The Mecha Dome. Okay. That looks like a place for a house. Pop that there for now. Ingvar's Forge. Ah, so this is the rival. Ingvar, leave. Who are you? Do you smell that? The potential in the air, like something or someone is about to set off a chain reaction, the results of which we can't begin to see. I have a good old run around right now, see what I can see. Apparently if you get all of those, you get like a little, you get a little thing. Uh, I need to craft green sprout bridge seed in the seed crafter required ground salt so for now i think we'll just do the scrapyard pipe because other than that it's all overall things uh there is a chest here with some ground salt and crystal dust wonderful Where else can I go? Can I go in here? What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Ah, this looks like a place I can put my house and it looks like I have a, sort of a recycling and sort of a flame aura down here. Good to know. Okay. I need to try and work out how these like auras work though. Up 
upcycle aura one, upcycle aura two, upcycle aura three. Set. Oh, maybe I have to upgrade my weather thing to to two, three, five to get the the correct auras. So other than so, if I can't get the right auras, then I need to use the ones on the ground. That makes sense. Luckily, moving the workbenches. It seems it, it allows you. What? Oh, I need to f repair that so I can go over there. Okay. Um, it seems to allow you to take down, uh, up and down the workbenches without losing anything. So it's not too much of a terrible thing. All right. So the garbage chute. Let's clean that out. Now I've explored about as far as I can explore. Whee! Oh right, I see. So we have teleportation. Oh. All the way back here through the chute network. Right, I have my own underground garbage chute network of ta uh, transportation now. Fantastic. I like it. I like it a lot. So, the last time I saw Tristana was over here. I'm hoping... It hasn't moved? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, last time I saw Tristana was actually down here. This game should be called, like, Wherever I Left My House. <laughs> Tristana, I need your help. What happened? Is someone in danger? I'm getting Boomer. Oh no, not that kind of help. It's more of a diplomatic mission, I suppose. I need help inviting Rumble to the party. Come on, it's not that hard. Just don't mention the size of his mech and you'll be fine. Yeah, well, he's only coming if you invite him. Okay, I can talk to him. I've cleaned, cleaned the garbage chute, so we won't have to fly. Great, lead the way. Off we go. So this is actually pretty cool. I might need to sleep soon, actually, as well, because I've got a lot of... Oh, I do have nine now, so, so upgrading the the bubbles, the the aura essence or whatever it was, has helped massively. Oh, no, wrong way. Want the garbage chute. Now I need to go back and talk to Rumble again. I am so glad that there was a way back. I brought Tristana. Why do you need a personal invitation, Rumble? I um, wanted to be on the same page. You're like a legendary gunner and I'm uh, the best engi uh, engineer. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, sure. What about the party? Well, you are coming, right, Triss? We haven't, you know, hung out in a while. I'll be there, but I still have a ton of stuff to do. But you'll know plenty of yordles. All of Gadgeton is invited. Wait, huh? I thought it would be a small party. Since when are you afraid of a big crowd, Rumble? But, so the party starts at... Yeah, I'm busy at the time, sorry. What's gone on to him? No idea, I think he expected a different kind of party. Great. Seems like Rumble really wants Tristana to notice him. Maybe I can help. I thought the great Rumble enjoyed a challenge. Say again? Our party is also going to have an invention competition, and it's going to be a real challenge this time. A challenge, you say? I honestly can't imagine Ingvar going up against me, party or no party. What happened to the best engineer on the island? Ha, just you wait and see, Tristana. See you at the party. That went well. How are you going to create a challenge for him? No idea. I guess I should go talk to Ingvar. Go talk to Ingvar. Okay, let's go talk to Ingvar then.
Different. Look, am I ma am I making something over here as well? Like there was a question mark over my. Oh, I need to make the weather report here. There we are. Done. Okay, then. Oh, this looks like the wrong way. Oh, that looks scary. Yeah, well, let's go the other way and talk to Ingvar. Okay, here we are. Right, hello. Who are you? My name's Ingvar. I provide the island with necessary parts and repairs. At least I used to before my forger's flame died out. Nowadays, I'm more famous for losing to Rumble in our invention contests. That sounds tough. People seem to enjoy the show though, so I don't mind. I need your help. I need Rumble at my party to reopen my portals and save my friend. But he's being such a baby about it. How are you so sure I can help? He's only coming to the party if it has an invention challenge for him. Sadly, I'm no match for Rumble even on a good day, and right now I don't have a functioning forge. Um, what happened to your forge? The flame died. It was coming from the cave underneath, some kind of magical flowers or something. I'm no gardener, you know, but ever since the catastrophe, I've got nothing. I'll try looking into that. Um, can you help me fix Corky's copter? The heat from my forge can make anything with the right workbench. If only it was working again. Let me help you with the challenge. I wouldn't want to bother you. Besides, how would you do that? Maybe I can help you think of an invention. You should try asking the department chairs about it. I'll get back to you. Okay, inspect Flame Blossom Cave. Ah, now we can go in there. This must be the cave Ingvar was talking about. Those flowers don't look like they're a stable heat source. I guess we need to find new ones? Those look like flame blossoms. I think I've read about those. Cool, where do we get some? I think Green Sprout Grove would be a good place to look. Okay. So we need to find like various bits and bobs. So talk to um, Eek. Craft Green Sprout Bridge Seed. Oh, so I, fa I found the ground salt though. But oh, it's a skill required ground salt. Let's go and get the ground salt skill then. Uh, <laughs> probably under engineering. We need to grind some salt. Maybe not then. Huh. Maybe it's under nature. Yes. And I need to somehow make a seed crafter. I have a bit of salt as well, which is really good. So let's go back to my let's go back to my house and see what we can make. Can we make a seed crafter? I can, but I need clay. Hmm. Okay then, um, let's unlock clay then, and I can maybe make that out of, I'm hoping against hope that I can make that out of junk. That was expensive. Oh, I could do with a sleep as well, quickly. We're starting to run a bit low on the old action points again, on the old skill points. So. I should now be able to make a seed crafter from clay, uh, stone iron, oh, no, no, we can't make it there, okay. I can make, I can grind salt on my crusher. I wonder if I should have that. Workbench. Is that a 
dining table? No. Yes. Yes, it is. So what I need to do is probably make dining tables um, to put in my food stall because then what I can do is if I get if I grab the wrong thing I can put it down for a second Which is quite useful. So that might be a thing why I would need a dining table inside here I don't know it's taking up a space that I don't think I'm gonna need it for so I may get rid of that I can always re quickly rebuild it if I need it. Okay. So anyways, uh let me just check all of the crafting benches and see if any of them have any kind of thing that might make clay. I don't think so though. That's just cloth and that is just thread and rubber loops. No. Ah. Oh, what about the charge? Oh, the charge workbench is outside right now. Grr. Let's have a look. Charge workbench. Can I make play on that at all portal yarn rubber loop charged I, ch I can charge the artifact here if I have motion aura all right then good to know yeah I think it's going to be easier for me I'm going to take the backpack with me I think I might actually be able to charge the artifact and get to Inspiration Isle. That might be where I can find clay. So we're going to kind of go everywhere at the moment. Anywhere and everywhere. So back to the garbage chute. And then uh, we need to get to Green Sprout or whatever it is. I have no clue. Oh, this elevator is broken. All the elevators are broken. It's the garbage chute I want, not the elevator anyway. I love how I'm just slowly moving Tristana around the map. <laughs> okay. So I think I can get to Inspiration Isle. And now I've got to remember... Right, so the first thing I need to do is get some motion, um, some motion points, I guess. So what I'm going to want to do is go down to uh, Nesta's layer and pop my pop my backpack down there, and we're going to use that to charge the artifact because it has motion aura. I say there's probably easier ways to do this, but that's the way I'm doing it right now. So I need to build. No, I don't need to build anything. It's on the charge workbench. Charged artifact. There we are. Done. So I figure then I'll just take that. Like I say, when I'm doing little things like this, I will just take the backpack with me everywhere I go. Because at the moment, I'm just, I'm walking around everywhere. I can gather some rock salt. Oh, nice. I can grind that down. Very good. Okay. Finding all sorts of stuff now. So I now need to head up here and then we can make our way over to Inspiration Isle and then I've only got the the seeds to make then. I need to work out how to get clay though. No idea what I need to do for that. I can't find the right workbench for it. Uh, it's not there, is it? Where is it? Hang on. like over here somewhere. It was by the old Nissa's campus, I think. Oh well, if I wander around enough, I'll find it, I'm sure. Oh, it's right there. 
why can't I? There we are, repair bridge. The magic artifact was ready. Yay! It's always good to see magic working right. But sometimes it can be a little complicated. Oh dear. Here, our hero's magic could help. That's much better. See, it just needed a good kick from a knitter. At last, Inspiration Isle was reunited with Bandal City. And it got its own magic back. Perfect. For a second or two. Alright then, so we've got like a bridge to Inspiration Island. Gramps always said inspiration is key to being a knitter. I bet the locals know one or two things about it. There we are. New area opened, Concerto Park. Yes. Crystals. Oh, it looks like piano keys. That's well cool. Wait, why is the bridge singing now? It's been silent for so long. Well, I just walked over it and it made sounds. Do you know any exceptional yordles? I need some for a big party to restore the portals. There's an island full of musicians and chefs. Sorry, this is an island full of musicians and chefs. Uh, someone's bound to be exceptional. Now wait, that melody was so smooth. <laughs> Do you know anybody in particular? Well, there's a giant hungry mountain. Is that exceptional enough? Wait, wait, maybe it's my shoes. A mountain. I need someone that can actually come. Listen, we do have a situation here. All the magic from our instruments is gone. So if you don't mind, I need to find out how this bridge made sounds just now. Sorry, I'll ask someone else. What's this? Parchment. Another black sand star. Uh, lots of musical instruments. No, not really answering my clay conundrum, is it? The magical tunnels. Who are you guys? Lulu. Pix! Pix! I hope you can hear me. I'll keep singing songs to entertain you, just in case. Okay. Tunnel Keeper. First the magic, then Lulu's little friend. Could things possibly get any worse? So you sell red spice, mushroom, crystal, infinity orb, and ink berries. Do a little loop around to see what I can see. The hungry hilltop. Oh well, that's a that's it looks like the mountain, the talking mountain. Then. Hello, Brunoir. Spicy, spicy, spicy. That's all the hungry hilltop ever wants. Doesn't she know about salty, sweet, sour, the five tastes and harmony together? The things I could do with a few more flavours at my disposal. Bruno means well, honest. Don't let his grumpiness deter you. He's just a little well particular about how he likes things done, you know? Who is this? All these chefs do all day is make dishes for the hungry hilltop. I've been waiting ages for my first course. I see. Maybe talk to the hungry tilt hilltop. Delivery bug station. Hmm. 
Interesting. Let's see if we can talk to the Hungry Hilltop at all. Hello, Hungry Hilltop. No, we can't talk to you yet. Okay. And there's a place for my backpack here, just in case. Alright then. So, that's the Hungry Hilltop. Can't do much over here yet. I just wish I knew what I was doing here. Like... So I can head out this way. That's back to where I came. I'll just have a little explore. And up here is something random. Okay. Nothing I can really do much with yet. So I don't think I'm going to find my answers here. Find some more black sand though, so that's quite nice. And some more uh, vista points. But it definitely wanted me to craft Greensprout Bridge before I came here, so I don't really understand. Be upcycled on workbenches for resources. Okay. But yeah, I feel like I've done this in slightly the wrong order, so I, that's why I'm not particularly... Oh, mind you, who are you? This is torture. I've told you time and time again, colleague, it's pointless. So this is riff and waltz. Magic instruments. I'm just not going to work without the magic. Um, what seems to be the problem? Our lousy instruments don't work. What my colleague means is our instruments were powered by magic and it's very difficult to be a musician without an instrument. Yeah, total bummer. We want to have a concert. Maybe the tunnel keeper would know how to get us instruments again. Yeah, he guards the tunnels and such. Can I help you fix your instruments? I mean, I'm not well versed in magic, but I could maybe make you some regular ones. You rock. We would be ecstatic to hear the euphonious sounds of our instruments again. Great, I'm on it. Do you know any exceptional yordles? I need one for a big party to restore the portal system. Well, you can't get more exceptional than Lulu. She's one of a kind. I saw her follow pics into the tunnels right before the, you know, thwomp. Thanks, I'll look for her. Why do you say colleague like that? What? That's a run of the mill way to say it. <laughs> Never mind. Musical prelude. Oh uh, well, I get the impression these are probably going to be harvestable eventually. Oh, it looks like there's a portal fishing area here as well. Nice. I go up there. Oh, this is good. So I can go back to Bandle Center or Gadgeton or we can possibly, I don't think we can get back to Yarnville very easily though. Um, but that looks like it's going to be green sprouts. Okay, well that's good. Um, I'd rather save my, my portal yarn though. Maybe I might need it later and stuff. <laughs> I need to get back to the bridge though, don't I? Where did we come in from? Across this big old piano, wasn't it? And across this bridge. So yeah, <sighs> don't know how to make clay still. Um, very confused, super confused, so confused. As usual in this game. Always, always with the confusion. What's going on here? Flabbertropus interdimensional smorbistored. 
that's all the time we have for today. What does any of that mean? That's the theme of our next lecture, probably. Oh, Sheila. What a wonderful surprise. I'm glad to see studies are back on track. You get some credit for it too. What's on your mind? Anything we can help with? There's this invention competition in Gadgeton. I need an idea for a crazy invention that could win it. How about painting... Sorry, a painting that transforms depending on what's in front of it. No offence, but that kind of sounds like a mirror. What you need is something like a treadmill that does all the walking for you. I don't think either of those will work, sorry. You know what, we probably can't come up with anything reasonable on the spot. But we promise to think about it. Talk to Lulu, bring a simple strummer, simple xylophone to riff. I think musical instruments are quite far down the chain, I think. Um, I do need to get the weather report from somewhere. But I'm more... I'm more interested at the moment in trying to get to green sprout. Alright, so what I want to do is put my house... Oh, hang on. You've got something to say, haven't you? Hi. Oleander, don't get mad at them. Ever since we went back to the studies, they've been working really hard. Yeah, they probably spent all of their that thing like... Uh, you mean creative energy? Exactly. Do you guys have any invention ideas? I need one for a competition on Gadgeton. Gadgeton. I can't say it properly at all. Um, get us a basic blueprint and we're going to help you. Alright then. We need to go make some basic blueprints. Knitting pupil. Okay. It doesn't seem to, to be keeping that particular uh, quest. Maybe it is? I don't know. Right, okay. Let's have a little look at, at uh, the various things I can make. So, I'm going to make a chest, a workbench, assembly, desk, a flask, charge, junk up, cyclers, spooling bench, loom, crusher, seed crafter. Oh, collectible in. Well, would, the, would that be like Gadgeton? Gadgeton. And Inspiration Isle, maybe. Let's have a look at my map. And let's have a look at... The world map. If I can. I said there was a way to do the world map. Oh, no, here. Okay. Uh, world map, world map. How do I get it? It told me how to use the maps and I have gotten how to get a world map going, which is really irritating. Oh, here we are. Right, so, Inspiration Isle, Bandle Center, Gadgeton, and Yarnville. So, Bandle and Gadgeton are where you can get clay. But I just need to know where and how. Something I've not looked at. Is there any, like... Tunnels or anything? Maybe Vygar's layer. That had a few bits in it. Looking to see if anything sort of lights up. I talk to the Philosopher's Rock. Consider this, you and I can both look at the world and say, that's green. But your green and my green might look completely different. There's no way to know if we're seeing the same thing. Uh, right. Yeah, it's entirely true. 
And some, some, they, they've actually done experiments on it and stuff. I've only grown beets with Rosalind in the garden before, but now I need to grow a whole bridge. The seed for the bridge is in the seed crafter. I just need to plant it in the right location. Sounds simple enough. It would be if I could find any clay anywhere. So let's see what we can find. Minerals. I might need to go back to Gadgeton, you know, and see if I can find it there, but... It says it's here as well, so why I'm not finding it, I'm not sure. I don't mind finding extra crystals. I can, you know, sort of grind them down and make some crystal powder and stuff, but not entirely what I'm looking for. So I wonder where it might be. I'll have a quick look at the scrap tunnels, but I don't think we're going to find it there. Unless this is it. A clay pump. Oh. Right. Well, there we are. So I need to make a magical rubber loop. But I need to make a rubber loop and then imbue it. And then it will let me gather five clay. Of course. Well, now we know how to get clay. <laughs> Glad I looked down there. All right, so I'm going to need to probably get some more stars and, and another rubber ball, I figure. One rubber ball. It's the only thing I've needed so far to buy. It's been rubber, so... I might have to run some food stands if, I, uh, if I'm struggling for money for that. Or properly set up my vending machine. Yeah, I think I put my house down here. So... I might have to move it back, I'm not sure. Depends on how I need to charge it, but let's make some rubber bands anyway. Oh, I apparently have three bouncy balls now. Oh well. I'll probably need a few of these rubber bands. If I need one every time I make clay, then yeah. And once I've got the rubber band, we're going to need to see what we need to do to imbue it. So I'm just going to um, pull out the carpet with my charge altar on it, my charge workbench. Um, so for a magical rubber loop, I do need to go and get some motion aura. And um, motion aura, I can't just have motion aura until I have more, uh, like, a, I'm assuming an upgraded uh, there's some kind of upgrade to that thing an upgraded um wind catcher thing i just need two clay so i only need like one of these things but it's gonna be a little bit of, of a pain to make so let's pull up the backpack and let's head over to the to the upside down <laughs> This is a far nicer, more nature-loving upside down. Although apparently the upside down wasn't too bad until the humans got involved. So. Can't say any more or we might spoil things if people haven't watched. Okay, so now let's unravel the, the charge. Let's go in and grab the rubber band. Okay. Yeah, grab the rubber band and then we're gonna head out to the workbench and make a magical rubber loop. Okay. 
Then we're going to take the magical... I'm going to actually pull this back up again, just because I... I never know where and when I'm going to want my my backpack to be at the moment. So then... I'll do anything with that one. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to head myself back over to the scrapyard and we're going to put the magical rubber band in and hopefully that will allow me to get some clay. This does have a certain puzzle element to it, doesn't it really? You've got to puzzle out exactly how you do things. And sometimes it's very much a case of looking everywhere until you can find it. So clay gathering, there we are. So once I have two clay, I can make the seed across to... I can make the seed maker, which will be wonderful. And then we can collect the green sprout weather report. And I can go... If I stick my backpack down, I should be able to collect the inspiration aisle one as well. So we should be able to get that done. Pretty soon we might even be able to get all the weather reports by the end of the episode if I am quick. We'll see. Is it me or is that stuck? Maybe I should leave the area for a bit and come back in a minute and see how it does. Oh, I hope it's not stuck. Alright, what else can we do? We can build a simple strummer. I need instrument making and kasala baking. I feel like that's further down the line. Instrument making. Uh, inventor's fair. Where's instrument making then, in, in amongst all of this? Is it a magical thing? There's so much stuff to do. Upcycle one aura. Magic conductor one. Oh, this is gonna add the auras in. Ah, this is how I find them. Okay. So like, if I had Magic Conductor 1, that would give me Unity and Precision 1 auras. Then Growth, Upcycle and Harmony. When would I get Motion? A magic galometer too. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, so that's going to be... That's what's needed. So we're getting all of the number one upgrades here by getting magic conductor one and magic auras. Uh, that's going to be very helpful. That'll mean the more of that I get, the more I can do things inside rather than having to move the backpack around and use the auras on the ground. But no musical instruments there. I could see. Might be a, might even be a knitting thing. You never know. A swifter knitted leg, so I can run faster on it. Um. Advanced knitter festivals, final party. It feels like it would it feels like it would be under magic. Do you know why? Because I think Inspiration Isle is all about magic, right? Open air concert, mushroom baking. Giant dance floor.
bread making, advanced home decor, knitted leg, merchant store. I, I don't know where it is. I saw musical instruments earlier, I know I did. Reinforced thread. But can I find it now? But my thoughts are that it's further down the skill tree than I want to go. Virtuoso first. Uh, Foundry, swirl corns, snap jaw. No, I really don't think. I have a clue where the musical instruments are because there was definitely a thing for musical instruments. Can I find it though? No. Have a quick one quick more look and then if I can't find it. No, okay, that that's fine. Instrument making. I don't know where that is. No way. But then probably in the time it's taking me to look through all of that, the clay's probably done, right? No. What? That's going to take my entire life. Just to do one piece of clay. Maybe I should try and get the other clay pit working then. So I need to go get a blueprint and an upgraded uh, rubber band. Okay. I can do that. Not an upgraded rubber band, a charged, a magically charged rubber band. So let's head back down to Nestor's layer, where I know I've got motion aura. I would like to get more auras, but uh, I think we need to sleep as well for points. I worry if I spend all my skill points on auras, I'm going to get stuck on bottlenecks on something that I need. So, I'd rather not if I don't have to. And there's no reason I can't do this crafting here. So, uh, let's pull out the charge station. Let's go and make a rubber band. And let's go and make a... I'll make some ink. I think I'm going to need some ink. I'll go make a blueprint. By the time we've done that, the rubber band will be done. Take the rubber band outside, charge up. Roll everything up and take the backpack back up. And off we go. That's a second clay thing done. So I can have two running at once now. Which should speed things up a touch. I don't know how much uh, clay I'm gonna, gonna really need, but... I swear, every time I use shift to make it go faster, it, I get stuck on something. <laughs> it's not an easy game to actually go fast in. Now. I do like my zoomy trail though. Yeah. Okay, let's head on down. Make the second clay pump. And start to gather clay on that one. So we've got two going at once. And that might make things very slightly faster. Uh, Oleander wants three basic blueprints. So we'll just go over to where Oleander is and just go quickly make the blueprints over there. Hope I've got enough ink to do it or enough stuff to make ink. Otherwise we'll need to do a little bit of, a little bit of digging up things. Right then, stick my backpack down. And let's go and see about making some more blueprints. It's all the black sand I'm needing, so it, you've got to be quite careful with how many blueprints you're using versus how much black sand you're picking up. 
But I don't think black sand is particularly common. You only find it when you see those stars. Right. Oleander, I have your blueprints. There you go. I've got just the thing for you then. Here you go. Blueprints for gadget displays. How do they work? I originally made them to show off gadgets, but mostly they just look cool. That works for me. Install gadget display in the mechadrome. Skill required a foundry workbench. Right, let's have a little look at foundry workbench. That's definitely going to be engineering. That's quite a long way along engineering, actually. Uh, we need to have finished this. So I need to have visited Green Sprout Grove before we can go any further with the gadget and stuff. Okay, that is absolutely fine. It looks like... I need to be doing some food stalls with this uh, baked yolk bud stuff as well. But uh, that's fine, we can do that later. I feel like... Peach goes bash, mystical leg. Extra emotion orbs. So much to do everywhere. Decision one aura. Growth, upcycle, and harmony auras. I feel like getting the auras would be really useful. This is the quality of life thing, but ugh. Maybe I need merchant stuff as well, like, but I don't really need it yet. And that's the issue I have. It's like, I don't need to spend these points quite yet. And I don't want to bottleneck myself if I do, so. Glow on a moose. So you have to make that an emotion place. Ugh. Baked yolk buds. But I can have, I can have a, like a, um, food stand anywhere I want, so that's fine. So I just need the heat from the oven, I think, for the baked joke buds. But it does look like the Glonana mousse has to be made literally on top of the... Uh, it's a nightmare. That is going to be an absolute nightmare to do. But never mind. <laughs> All right then, um, I've forgotten what we're even doing right now. Honestly, the seed crafter, we just need the seed crafter. I may as well just leave my place there because it's close enough. Pretty sure the clay will be done now, I need two clay. And then we can head over there. Alright, one clay is done. Oh! One lot of five clay is done. Well, okay. It does it in batches of five. That is more understandable as to how long it took then. It's good that we've got some clay to, to pick up from the other one though. That's cool. Uh, right. So, we're able to craft the seed maker now. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Seed crafter. Mm, actually, thinking about it, can I make a seed crafter in the greenhouse? Or is that something I can't do in here? I can, so I will. So that seed crafter there. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, 
that's annoying. <laughs> and I need a precision aura for it. Oh, okay. So I do have to make it, but I have to make it outside. Because we cannot do it without... Unless I buy the skill for precision aura. So I've been wanting to do that, actually. I'm annoyed that I didn't realise that we already had a seed crafter. That's a bit of a pain, but... However, it doesn't hurt that I've managed to get clay now. But I might just remove the second one because I don't think I need it. I only got two clay back, but I think they only take two clay to build, don't they? So that's fine. I got all my clay back then, so... Um, precision Aura 1. Just pop it under the seed maker, and that should then allow me to make the bridge seed. Yay! We're done! That was actually so much easier than I was making it out to be. Just hadn't kind of quite worked out the puzzle to it. Well, that's fine. Can't do everything straight away all the time, can you? So in this episode, we have managed to work out how to get all of the places open. So we managed to work out how to fix the balloon, how to get across to Inspiration Isle, and we've also managed to get the tree seed. In fact, let's take the... Uh, let's take the backpack with us. Because we never know what we're going to find over there. And I also solved the puzzle of how to get clay. So that is also very, very good. So I don't mind that some of that took a while because it's going to help me going forward. So I think it's all the way down here by Vygar's lair. And I can now repair it was time the bridge. For some gardening magic. Our hero tried to cheer the seed on. They shouted. Come on, little one. I believe in you. I believe in you too. Plants love kindness. Wow. And that little the power seed of belief. courage from our hero's cheers. <laughs> I love the birds flying along with it. Oh no, I hope it didn't like hurt things. Right, so now we can go to Green Sprout Grove. And find out what things are around here. I should get the weather reports. Maybe I said by the end of this episode I wanted to have all of the weather reports. So we now have the Green Sprout Grove open, which now means I can do all of the things that were locked behind that. Which was a lot of the engineering stuff. New quest, garden assistants, graze and rebuild. I'm looking for the most exceptional yordle on this island. I'm afraid our island has too many problems to help you with that right now. Oh no, what happened? We were supposed to have an expedition to the sky scratcher tree and then it fell right on our village. It's a miracle nobody got hurt. But that's not even the worst part. What's the worst part? The pancrustacean hexapod invertebrates, of course. Who to what now? <laughs> Bugs. Where did they come from? They fell from the tree. They're not even a level 2 natural hazard. Which is to say they're not hostile, but they're very voracious. Vora what? They eat so much. First they annihilated all the gardener's flower beds. Then went after the farmer's produce. Now the farmers blame the gardeners for sending these bugs. And the worst of the worst part is now they refuse to give me supplies for my expedition. Sorry about your plight, but... Can you tell me who's the most exceptional yordle here? Oh, that's definitely Timo, the most stealthy scout in the history of stealth. He's so stealthy, sometimes he doesn't even know where he is himself. So we need to get Rumble, Timo, and Lulu to come to our party so far. Hmm, okay, so 
He can stay invisible for ages. Many yordles have never actually seen him at all. Yeah, I got the being stealthy part, but uh, I kind of need to find him. So I think in League of Legends, Teemo would put down turrets and then turn invisible and then people couldn't find him and he could sort of sneak up on people. So he left on his scouting mission right before this bug madness started. If I wasn't so caught up in this crisis, I'd try to help you. Let's solve this crisis then. What do you need? I need supplies for my expedition. I've been preparing for a journey to the top of the tree for a while now. The mission is a little easier now that the tree came here on an expedition of its own, but I still need the supplies. Okay, I'm on it. I need to find Eek or Ica or however that's pronounced. Um Are they there? That's bogs. Don't know then. I think they might be here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Wow, it really did get ravaged by bugs, didn't it? Like, really, really did. Need a snap jaw. Okay. Green sprout farms. So there's a couple of people down here to chat to. Who is this then? Hey, I'm looking for someone exceptional. I'm Sheilab and I've got a party invite for them. My name is Ike, and under any other circumstance, I'd like I'd ask you about it. I'd ask you all about it, sorry. Sadly, instead, I must ask for your help. Our Kal our Kalasa houses were destroyed. So we're in the middle of a housing crisis. I've tried asking the farmers for Kalasa seeds, but they blame us for the bug infestation. And even if they would agree to give them, they take forever to grow. The seeds? Yes, to grow new houses. Of course, I'll see what I can do, Ike. Thanks, we'd be having our harvest festival right now if not for these unfortunate events. Harvest festival? It's a competition between us, the clearly superior gardeners, and the lousy farmers. Oh, cool. Farmers and gardeners are totally different, right? Of course, we gardeners are the artists of the soil. We cultivate beautiful flowers from nothing, while those pesky farmers just drop the vegetable seeds and cover them with dirt. Got it. What's in your shop, then? Prism apples, fiddlesticks, pumpkins, and glow nanas. Uh, let's have a chat to you. What's that fountain used for? This is thicket. Usually it makes our plants look healthy and shiny. I mean, at least it used to before the sky scratch of tree fell down here. A magic well, huh? What's at the bottom of it? Cocoa. Really? I've never seen plants drink cocoa. That's because you've never asked what they want. I know they're suffering now because the fountain has stopped working. We don't even drink the cocoa ourselves. It's strictly for the plants. Alas, all of the gardeners are too scared of bugs to restore it. Then let me help. Really? That would be great. You might need some garden instruments. All right, then. I can pop my house down here and grab the weather report. Before I forget. So I need a little bit of ink for that. Let's pop in and make some ink. There we go. We've got the green sprout weather report there now. I don't know what else it wants me to make. Something else. Let's have a little look at the well, see what we can do to help with that. So we can repair it with growth dust and vital droplets. Okay. I need a sproutling party. And well, how do we get sproutling party then? Let's have a little look at that. Okay, that's not too far away. I do need Kalasa baking, don't I? And that's going to unlock the Kalasa bee, uh, seed as well. I needed that for something in the Inspiration Isle, I think. So let's get that sorted. I'll make a, a seed bed for the Glonanas now. So that's unlocking the Glonana seeds. Chill party charm. Motion conductor. Oh yeah, I want that. That's 
12 points though. <laughs> It'd be so useful. It would be so, so useful to have that aura. But there's so many points. My points are all full though. Let's get in here and sleep. I've been running around doing all sorts, haven't I? I've got 36 points now. Lovely. All right, then. Let's have a look at the sproutling party thing. So I need to have garden seed beds unlocked. And then we can unlock sproutling party. And that's going to allow me to craft fertilizer and growth dust. Okay. Um... I need salt and, like, musical inspiration. Okay. Salt shouldn't be too hard. But musical inspiration might be a bit harder. And what, like... Okay, I need to do that on the potion bench. So it's a harmony aura. I can unlock a harmony aura for inside. And I think that might be a little bit less difficult. It's a pain without these auras. Ooh, I need a lot more points for that though. For harmony or I'm gonna need a ton more points. Okay, well, how about we do some mechan of thread? And we do some mechan of cloth. And we make some and we upcycle all the junk. Or maybe like 20 of the junk. And then we head to bed quickly. And then we'll pick it all up in the morning. Right, so now that's all done. So I can take the salt. And that. That gave me some points. And this. And the five cloth. Fast way to get points. Very fast way to get points make stuff cream and save so we're up to 18 points and what i'm desperately wanting to to get out of this is um enough to make the harmony aura so this one is ready so now we have unity and precision auras if we need them and then i'm going to need another six points so i'm going to make a little bit of crystal dust Maybe like 15. Then I'm going to do another 20 upcycle junk. Mm, I think I made all of the cotton into thread, so we can't do much about that. Alright then. Let's dream and save. And then I'll pick all of this up. Let's see how many points I get for that. Not a ton. But that's okay. Could I do a little bit of gardening, maybe? Get some beet seeds on the go? And maybe do some planting? And maybe harvest this glow nana. I would like to put my assembly bench back down, so I would like to get some iron. Do 20 iron. And then I'm wanting to get a blueprint. 
probably, and then let's make the assembly bench once we get the iron. That's going to take a while, isn't it? Could make another rubber loop if I wanted to. But not at the moment, that's fine. Uh, let's carry on uh, doing a little bit of an explore around this island to see who we can find. So, who's this? This is Fern. My worms are deaf. I'm sorry, I didn't know worms had ears. Of course not, but they can sense vibrations and when the sky scratcher tree fell, imagine hearing that with your entire body. My poor squirmy babies. Poor things. Who is this duster? Ever work the lamb kid planted something with your own two paws? If not, I reckon you still got some growing to do, Sprout. Well, well, I have. So maybe I don't need to grow. Who is this? Aha! Uh -huh. Ike, what are you doing here? Uh, that's the 303rd time. This is also Ike. Eek. I'm Eek, not Ike. And we're going to go Eek and Ike, I think. I'm the leader of the farmers, and though this happens all the time, I still don't understand why people confuse us. We're so different. I mean, just look at my nose. Anyway, why are you here? I came to ask you for colossus seeds. It's for the gardeners, you see. Their homes were smashed. They dare to ask? We've got no spare seeds for those mud mixers. If they didn't unleash those horrible bugs in the first place, the least they could do is at least try some integrated pest management. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Can I grow new colossus houses? You sure can, but it's going to take forever. I'm going to try it anyways. Heh, now that's the farmer's spirit. Do you have any flame blossom seeds to spare? I guess we can spare a few. Why? I need it to rekindle a flame in the forge. Just go easy on the nutrients you give them. I don't want you to burn down the island. Don't worry, I'll use it way down in the caves. Very good. So we can get honey fruit, swirl corn, beet and yolk bud seeds. Hmm. So maybe I'll come back here and get those seeds. Um, what are you going now, Ike? Why, who's asking? Is it Ike? Because he'll just have to... S Sorry, you seem like a nice yordle, but those useless flowers have ears, I'm telling you. Okay. Something going on down here as well. Aha, so that's a Kalasa house. So let me go and quickly find a few make a few colossus seeds um, right then so colossus seeds i need salt leaves and i need a growth aura okay growth aura Aha, so that is this one. So if I go and sleep quickly, I might or might not. In fact, if I take these off. There, that'll do it. That should then be enough to get the next aura set, which should be enough to then do everything I need without having to move the backpack around all the time. So this is, this is nice, this is. Which is very nice. Okay, magic auras. Second set. Unlock. Lovely. So I can now pop um, an aura. Magic conductor one. Okay. Ah, oh, right, I see. I need some more chitin. Darn it. I do not think... Also, I need to rebuild my assembly bench. Um, but I don't think that I have enough bugs to make the chitin. No, I do not. So we need to go and get some more spotty bugs. Uh, so do I have a spotty bug trap is my next question. I do. I've got two of them there. Take my spotty bug traps out. Uh, is there anything else I can... Advanced blueprints. Well, they can go in there. The... Um, 
Ragdoll can go in there. The soft gloves can go in there. Let's have a look at uh, the inventory actually and see what the next upgrade is. It's uh, it's clay. Well then. And then it's rubber bands. Oh no. That cost a fortune. That should be a good that should be okay for now though. Clay for now. Oh, although I can pick some of these things up. I've got a lot of points for them. I'm going to um dream first and then pick up the iron because I'm worried sorry the gem dust because I'm worried that that will over it'll be more than fours but oh okay it wasn't <laughs> that's fine by me okay that's all right right so I could go and get the weather report over at uh, inspiration point or I could um, I need to make oh yeah spotty bug traps I need to get spotty bugs hang on so I've seen a couple of areas where there's some some flying bugs and things so let me get a spotty bug trap down there and let me get a spotty bug trap down there because having the auras to craft with is going to be ideal. And then we can just carry on exploring. Oh, it doesn't look like we can get down there. Okay, fine. Uh, can I steal your apples? I need to have the skill for prism apples to use that. Okay, nice. Good to know. Let's have a look at my map and see where I have and haven't found things. It looks like... We found most of the island, but there might be something over there that I can get to. And that there's something there as well, and something there. Okay. Cool. Question is, do I get the prism apple skill, or do I not? Do I just not worry about it? How long is it going to take for my bugs? A little while. So question, do I go and get the... Do I go and get the uh, report from Inspiration Isle? I might do actually. I could decorate my home. A Lulu home set. Can I preview it? Yumi, Bandle, Yarnville, Inspiration, Isle, Hungry Hill, a Concerto, Park, Home. Oh no, it used all my Fallen Stars. I didn't really seem to do an awful lot. Oh well, okay. <laughs> I think I have like a certain set from the DLC on my home, so I don't know what that's all gonna, how that's gonna affect everything. Because I can't really do a lot until these bugs are caught. It's a bit of a pain. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 headed to Inspiration Isle. I'm gonna tear down my backpack for now. And then I'd like to make a, a magic conductor. But I feel like I can't do a, a, a ton of stuff down here until I have the right magical auras to do the crafting that I need. It's gonna be a bit of a pain otherwise. Like I say, I'm a bit fed up of trying to find places to do all of the magic crafting that I need. So let's head over to Inspiration Isle, grab the weather report, take that back. And by the time I've done that, the chitin, uh, the bugs should be ready to make the chitin that I need. Hmm. 
Ooh, some black sand, wonderful. Need that ink. Always need that ink. Gosh, it's a long way to Inspiration Isle, isn't it? My oh, goodness. Okay. So I've just got to find a place where I can go and make a weather report. So anywhere that I can put the house down would be ideal. There was a place on Hungry Hilltop, but I'm hoping that I don't need to go all the way up there. Maybe I do. I don't know. Hey, Lulu. Come out, Pix. This isn't funny. Lulu, I don't think Pix is at home. Well, I don't know what else to do. What seems to be the problem? Me and Pix. I'm Lulu, by the way. We were walking around the tunnels. Listening to root songs, because this time of year, they are glorious. But then suddenly everything shook and rocks started falling. And it was so scary and we ran. And I haven't seen Pix since then. He's not in the tunnels, not at his house. I don't know where else to look. We've never been separated for so long and... I'm sure we can figure something out. If I help, could you come to my big party? Party? I love parties, but they're no fun if Pix isn't with me. There's no way he's missing a big party. Of course, we'll find him. Sadly, our island has other problems besides Lulu's missing friend. When the portal shut down, something instantly cut off our flow of magic. It just doesn't flow from the roots anymore. Can I help somehow? I would really appreciate it if you could find a distraction for the musicians. After their magic instruments stopped working, they tried using their voices. It was bad. No way to sleep. Bad. Don't worry, I'll get them some regular instruments. Maybe we'll find a way to have a concert as well. Yes, that may help restore the magic on the island. Any idea how to find Pix? He was attuned to the, the, mag sorry, the island's magic more than anyone else. Maybe his disappearance is connected to its absence. So restoring the magic should help. Okay, I'm on it. May the tunnels keep you safe. Um, it doesn't look like I can put my house down here. So I think it's, yeah, it's only that bit of the Hungry Hillside that I found earlier on. That's all blocked. So there's somewhere we can go, but it's blocked off at the moment. The place to find bugs. And then this is up to the Hungry Hillside. Oh, it's not. It's, it's back the way I came. Ah, arg, arg, grr, it's down here then. It's very easy to get turned around around here. Is this the hungry hillside? Yes. So the hungry hillside has all the stuff. So I'm going to put my house down over here, but then sadly. It's the end of the episode because I have overrun yet again. So we're just going to make the weather report. I, uh, as usual, I need to make ink. Boom. So we've made all of the weather reports now. I just need to make the Bandal City weather report in the drafting workbench. And then I think we can take that back. Uh, that wasn't what I meant to do. Bandal City weather report craft. We have done that. So take that to Dr. Nesta. Or maybe, maybe we could, no, actually, I'm, I'm going to say that will be the beginning. It's a little cliffhanger for you guys. Next episode, we'll be handing in the weather reports to Dr. Nesta. So look forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.